In this video we will check a very simple uh, single instance, not distributed, uh, PubSub implementation for Golang or in Golang. I will use my research project as an example and uh, I used this uh, blog post uh, as a reference. I made some minor changes but this is a mainly uh, how I did implement uh, PubSub, so I will attach everything in a links in a description. Uh, and before we start ch checking the code base, uh, which is relatively very simple, uh, I want to go. I want like very like on a, on a very uh, high level. Uh, just give like explanation of my use case. Um, I will avoid uh, theoretical details for pops up or publish subscribe. It's a messaging patterns. You can read more on the Wikipedia page, which will uh, which I will also attach. Uh, but in general, uh, my use case is very simple. I have uh, on the left side, I have uh, uh, subsystem or subsystems. Actually, I have uh, multiple publishers. Uh, they do some job. Uh, and then they put some data, which is URL in my case, in a topic. So other subsystems, they can listen in <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> and react to this event. Um, and advantage for me, in my case, I don't have to, uh, let's say, if, if in, in this subsystem I need a list of the old URLs, I, I don't need to pull uh, from database or from uh, even in memory database you know, uh, this data every time I can just uh, listen in on, on, on this part on the right part and if there is a new event or if, if there is a new data occurring on this topic I can react in here so uh, this is a, uh, like one of the advantages of this uh, messaging pattern so uh, we don't build uh, blocking parts so they can work uh, independently and also one of the another advantage, um, <clears throat> I can have as many subsystems on the right side, also as many subsystems on the left side, and they they will not um, block each other, and they can produce the same amount of the messages uh, if they need. Uh, in systems like Kafka and etc., you can have, have more advanced configuration. Uh, but since my example is very simple and um, all my data for now can fit in a single instance, uh, I, I decide to go with a uh, pops up. Um, I, I will go come back to the to the use case again. Uh, but let's for now check the implementation. Uh, so first of all, about the interface, right? What I need, uh, I need a very simple pops up interface uh, where I can subscribe to the topic. And once I am subscribed, I can listen in uh, to the new values or new messages, let's say. Uh, I can publish uh, new uh, messages, new data in, in the topic. And when I don't need pops up, I can close it. Uh, for now, I, I use it for the sake of the, like keeping in sync with the blog post that I referred to before. Uh, but but I, I believe in future we can have more use cases for close. Uh, so now about the implementation, let's go. Uh, so implementation is, as I said, is very simple. I made only one change. In the original implementation, it was uh, strings. Uh, now I use um, interface. Uh, so I can, um, and main reason for this, I can uh, publish any type to the, to the pops up. Um, so basically what I do, I have this um, struct where I keep uh, mutex, I keep list of the topics um, mapped to the list of the channels. So basically each of this channel, um, so whenever we have a new subscriber to the topic, uh, we will generate a new channel, register it internally and return it as a result uh, to the subscriber so they can listen in to this channel. Uh, that's where we use like feature of the language of, of the goal language uh, for our pur purpose. Uh, so when we initialize, it's very simple steps. We initialize this map, uh, we return this type, 
uh, more interesting things ha happens in, in these two methods. In first one, as I said, um, so whenever someone subscribes to the topic, um, what we do, we generate a new channel uh, for this particular subscriber. In future, we can also get like a name or ID of the subscriber. Uh, so we can uh, maybe keep data or, or have some buffer based on the type of the subs like subscriber or maybe buffer for each topic uh, so we can limit number of the messages within the topic. Um, but but this, uh, we have template where we can build all these steps. Uh, but for now, very simple. We can subscribe. When we subscribe, we get a channel. Uh, and once we have this name of the topic, uh, which is a string, uh, uh, we can publish a new data. And when we publish, we again, like, like these two steps are um, uh, default. So whenever we have a potentially um, like places where we can have racing condition, like very simply in a very simple use case, uh, we block and we make sure that it's, it's, there is only one operation at a, at a time for this p piece of code. Uh, so when we publish, uh, we say what topic we want to publish, uh, data we want to publish, and what's happening. Uh, based on the topic, we get all the channels. Uh, this this piece, of code, piece of code uh, in a simple language means that uh, we get all the subscribers, all the listeners to this topic, and then push, uh, in, in a Gorotin, we, we push this data to this channel. So each of these channels, each of the subscribers uh, will get this data. And this very important point. Uh, and, and that's it. And when we close, we again make sure that we uh, are locked, uh, make sure we didn't close it uh, before, and then close. So now what's the usage? Um, so I have one place. Um, so you, of course, the usage can be very different, right? It's, it's only my use case. Uh, be careful. This is my research project. Uh, I, I, I do it for mostly for learning. Um, so be be careful if you want to use it in production. Uh, for myself, I put also some 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 documentation uh, about the order uh, because in my case, as I, as I showed here, on the left side I have uh, publishers, uh, and then and on all all these uh, subsystems on the right, they listen to the, like, um, like there is no hierarchy, uh, but there is a kind of, um, when you subscribe, like when you first subscribe, I want to make sure that you don't miss any messages before, right? Uh, that's why I put, uh, in, uh, in order, I put it down, but but they, all of them are in Goroutines. Um, so yeah, and 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 uh, in the bottom I have all this. Like I make, sh I try to make sure that uh, every subsystems which will depends on a, on a root data, uh, they are they are listening, and before others are publishing. So in these two subsystems, I I produce or I publish uh, URLs and how it's happening. I pass this uh, interface. Um, um, implementation happens like uh, binding between implementation and interface happens in my main file. Um, this part will be, I will uh, refactor this part, but but this basically what I do uh, in my um, in my module in my package here in URLs package, I have uh, pops up as an interface, and this one this struct implements this interface. So this way, I, I make sure that they, they don't depend each other on, on each other directly. So if in future I decide to replace this one with another PubSub implementation, I can just do it here. And since I have this interface defined, I don't mind. So, I mean, this system doesn't actually care which interface it uses unless they have this, this tree implemented. Um, so what's happening? Uh, so uh, in my URL parser, I do my uh, like normal processing, normal uh, job. And then if it's everything successful, I publish a new message. A list of the topics that I currently support, so I keep them as a constant so I don't confuse because they are strings. Uh, I don't want to make a mistake, a typo mistake. 
I also add some uh, code description. So if you if you use IDE, it will be easier to to, to understand uh, what does each topic. Uh, and whenever I, I publish on on a subscriber site, what's happening? Um, this module is a subscriber is one of the subscribers, and when module uh, gets initialized, uh, it. It also has like access to the, to the same interface. It subscribes to the channel, to the topic. Um, uh, and since it's a channel, uh, it listens to the channel, not here, no, here. So this is, is how we listen to the channel. So we get it from subscribe method that we saw earlier. Uh, this is the implementation. And once it's subscribed, um whenever there will be a new message this one will will get it one thing that we do we we uh, make sure that we uh, cast it uh, this object to the needed type and then we do further processing and actually uh, like this is very simple and very in a very short way how you can use pops up pattern in a go link right uh, I believe there is a lot of um, there is some implementation on GitHub uh, which, which you can use. But if you want to do uh, yourself, you can use this approach. I will put all the links in description. But one uh, interesting thing that I did since I have uh, like kind of uh, this data flow, flow from left to right. Uh, uh, by the way, I will have another video explaining this data pipeline. So I will for now focus on the very high level. But what's happening, I have this topic, uh, I, as you can see, I have multiple topics. Uh, depending on the state of the data, uh, I pass it to the different topics. And for example, in this topic, I have three producers and only one subscriber. So three publishers and only one subscriber. And then this system itself published to another, publishes to another topic. And then I have another subscriber for this topic meaning that this subsystem listens to one and publish to another one. And this way I have kind of pipeline where I, I get like initial data, I do some uh, preparation of the data and then pass it further down in the pipeline. Uh, I have also another article, another very small port on this pipeline, port uh, post on uh, about this pipeline. I will also attach this. Uh, for now, that's it. If you if you got any question, please post in comments. And thanks for watching. See you another video. Bye bye.